Hello everyone, welcome back, History with Hilbert here, and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between Holland, the Low Countries, and the Netherlands. I promise that's the last time I'm going to do that in this video. So to begin with, obviously we have the Netherlands. And what the Netherlands actually means is the Low Countries. Now in Dutch it's called Nederland, very similar to the English. And actually uh, Nether means lower down. So if you've ever played Minecraft before, there's another realm called the Nether. And that is again sort of the underworld, the below world or the Low Country. And the reason why the Netherlands is called the Low Countries is because everything is very flat as you can see you can see things coming from very far away now the Netherlands have quite a few provinces and these provinces are as follows so you have Friesland, Noord-Holland, Flevoland, Zuid-Holland, Utrecht, Zeeland, Brabant, Limburg, Gelderland, Overijssel, Drenthe and Groningen. As you can see there are two provinces with Holland in the title so you have North Holland and South Holland which are North Holland and South Holland and these are two provinces of an area that used to be one place called Holland which was also a county in uh, the medieval Netherlands which has then you know been expanded and incorporated as part of the Netherlands and is now part of two provinces North Holland and South Holland. So let's have a look. The etymology of the word Holland comes from Holtland, and Holtland essentially means woodland. So probably back in the day in the Dark Ages, the Netherlands, or Holland, that area, was probably quite a wooded area. If it was above sea level, there would be trees growing there, and that's why the name uh, Holland is as it is, because it means woodland. Now both outside and within the Netherlands, the terms the Netherlands and Holland are used sort of interchangeably. Uh, often outside in Great Britain and in the United States they will refer to the Netherlands as Holland, which is technically incorrect, but more and more Dutch people are also using the terms interchangeably, especially when speaking English, although it's used less interchangeably when spoken in Dutch, as there is more of an awareness, especially outside North Holland and South Holland, that not everywhere is part of Holland, although it is part of the Netherlands. And actually, interestingly enough, the Dutch football team, they use the, you know, they use Holland, even though one of their top goal scorers is a Frisian. The capital of the Netherlands is Amsterdam. And Amsterdam is probably also the most famous city outside of the Netherlands, which is sometimes confused for the country itself. Now, you can see very clearly from above how well Amsterdam was planned in the 17th century. And it's pretty much always been the capital of the Netherlands and was incredibly important for shipping and for the Dutch trading empire, especially in the 17th century again. The name Amsterdam comes from the Amsteldam, which is the dam on the river which is called the Amstel, which is also where the beer gets its name as the beer is brewed on the banks of the river Amstel in Amsterdam. Now, Amsterdam is famous for such things as Ajax, the football club, Rijksmuseum and the Anna Frank House, as well as <coughs> other things. Now, Amsterdam is an incredibly picturesque city that most foreigners will have heard of and quite a few go to. And I would highly recommend going to see Amsterdam because there are a lot of things to see and to do there. Now another important city in the Netherlands is Den Haag and Den Haag is important for a few reasons because while it's not the capital of the Netherlands it is where the Dutch parliament meets so it's generally an old and important city and uh, not too far from Amsterdam and actually Amsterdam, Den Haag, uh, Rotterdam and a few other cities on the west of the Netherlands make up an area in the Netherlands called Randstad which means uh, edge city and it's essentially this big ring of urban cities in the western netherlands now let's have a look at the term the low countries and again the low countries in dutch are the lage lande which means exactly the same thing so which countries make up the low countries well generally what's meant by the low countries is the netherlands which i've just covered and belgium which is the country directly to the south of the netherlands now, why are they called the Low Countries? Well, because as you can see on this map here, a lot of the Netherlands are below sea level. And historically, actually, the Dutch had to take
take a lot of land, reclaim it from the water. Now let's have a look at another title which is often used in conjunction with the Netherlands and a few other countries, which is Benelux. And Benelux actually stands for um, the Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg together. So you have the BE from Belgium, you have NE from the Netherlands and Lux from Luxembourg. So it's essentially, I think it's a financial as well as a military uh, cooperation between the three countries to ensure each other. So often you'll see when there's an important event in the Netherlands or Belgium, there might be police from the other countries, they come and help out and things like that. So there's a cooperation of and teamwork between the three countries there. So these countries actually have a flag so we're now going to have a look at all three of these flags together and we're going to have a look then what the joint flag of the Benelux is so can you tell what it is yet yeah it's it's a, it's kind of a bit different isn't it mm, where did the big lion come from well actually the Netherlands and Belgium and also Luxembourg they all have a thing for lions So finally, I'm just going to go through a few other little things. So we have this country Denmark, which is sometimes confused with Dutch and Danish because people get bit confused between Dansk, which is the Danish word for Danish, and Deutsch, which is the German word for German, and then Dutch, which is obviously the English word for the language spoken in the Netherlands. And here you can see where all these various countries are in Europe. Alright everyone, so bedankt voor het kijken, thanks for watching this short video on what the difference is between the Netherlands, Holland and the Low Countries as well as a few other terms and fun facts about the Netherlands. So yeah, I hope you have indeed enjoyed watching this video and if you would like to know anything else then just leave a comment in the comment section below. I know that uh, Dutch people are one of my largest demographics so I'm sure they'd be happy to help you out and answer any questions if you're interested. I've got more videos about Dutch uh, language history and culture and of course there'll be more coming so thank you for watching i'm history with albert and don't forget to tune in next time